Okay, hello everyone, Victor Mama from Excel Moments. And in this video, I want to talk about a new feature in Excel. New as at August 2023, and it's format stale values. And what is this about really? Well, you get to find out in this video. Um, it's a very useful feature for some people, maybe not for some, depending on which side of the divide you fall. But first of all, where can you find this? If you've gotten the updates as one who is subscribed to the beta channel and you go to the formulas tab and you go to calculation options, you will see there's a fourth option. There were always three, you know, but now you have an option that says format stale values. So what, you know, brings about a stale value? Let me do something here which I highly do not recommend, which is changing your calculation options to manual. What does that mean? It means that when you perform a simple calculation, Excel does not recalculate. Back when I worked with a very humongous workbook that had a lot of formulas linking, you know, multiple um, sheets within the workbook and also linking to some external uh, databases, we kind of had to use, you know, the manual calculation option. Why? Because whenever the workbook was opened, it took a long time to load because all the cells had to be recalculated. Okay, And the workbook was almost unusable for a bit. So what we did was, you know, as a workaround then <laughs> was to switch to manual mode, you know, make all the updates we wanted to make, you know, the sheet, of course, load faster. And then when we are done, we then recalculate. But the problem is you could erroneously report a wrong value without even knowing it. Okay, so let's look at this example I have here. Simple data set, right, where I just have sales numbers. And here I'm doing a running total, you know, just a running total of um, this data here. And here, I'm also just doing a filter, more or less like filtering this data set wherever the sales is greater than 146 or whatever threshold you have in here. Let me show you something just to see the cells that depend on this cell here. Let's do a trace dependence, okay? So do a trace dependence, and you will see that it's saying that all these cells here depend on the value in cell D6. Now, it's also pointing to just one cell here, but actually every value here, because it's a spewed array, actually depends on, you know, D6. But because, of course, for a spewed array, the formula is sitting in one cell. That's why it's doing that. Let's take that out. So now, let's just change this value from 200 to 250. Okay. Now, you see, the running total does not update. Is still showing us a 200. And if you're not careful, you're not aware of the fact that the workbook is in, you know, manual mode, or maybe, you know, it's like so many calculations happening and you just pick one value. You could erroneously report the wrong value to your boss, not knowing that that value was already stale. Because this 200 is stale in the sense that it needs an update. You know, something has taken effect and this cell hasn't updated to reflect that change. But with this new option of saying, you know, format stale values, you can see that every cell that has a stale value has been formatted with a strike true. Okay, so it means that at least this visually tells me, oh, okay, Victor, don't take any of these values and run with them. These values are still. You most likely have to make a calculation, you know, before you then get what the new value should be. So I could do a calculate now, for example. And now the values are up to date. Okay, so if I change this, maybe for example, you can see, yes, all these other values, you know, are now still. Now, the only challenge I see for now is where people, you know, use strike through as part of their regular formatting, you know, and then it could be maybe a confusion. Is this, you know, a strike through because it's a still value or is this a strike through that I have put, you know, as a format on the cell? But barring that, you know, visually helps me to know that, okay, well, I can't take any of these cells to the bank because the values are still. So it's a new feature. Hopefully, you know, there will be updates, you know, in the coming days and weeks, you know, that may address maybe some of the concerns that a lot of end users have. But for a flag, something that tells me that this value is still and I can't run with it, I think this is excellent. So if you haven't received it, yeah, just hang in there. <laughs> it will get to you ultimately so if you like this video please hit the like button and you can also subscribe to the channel excel moments but before you go please always use automatic calculation mode never forget that for now i'm out